Okay, the 5 volt version of the Adafruit Trinket Mini Microcontroller. We are going to take this and use the Arduino software to turn this into a USB rubber ducky. Uh, the benefits of this is that we get to program it ourselves and uh, it doesn't cost $40 which when you go over to the website for the USB rubber ducky it actually says that it's sold out right now I'm assuming that because it was just Christmas but we don't need it it's usually about forty dollars we don't need that we can go to um, the Adafruit website or Amazon and find a Adafruit Trinket mini microcontroller for about seven bucks and program it ourselves. It does come with a couple of drawbacks, one being it's got a bootloader on it that takes about 10 seconds. So when you initially plug in the microcontroller, it does about a 10 second boot in which it's looking for you to flash code onto it. And then after that 10 second boot, it will run the code that's currently on it. Uh, another drawback would be that <clears throat> it doesn't have a US or a micro SD card slots to just quickly change out SD card slots, which changes out payloads. You actually have to reflash a new payload onto this every time. But at seven dollars, you can just buy multiple uh, microcontrollers, or um, you could just have a USB hub with a normal USB plugged into it, along with this trinket, and tell the trinket to find the uh, USB stick and pull code off of that which is a workaround for the SD card uh, we're going to use the USB hub in a different fashion today I'll get into that in a second and the last drawback is the coding for this is a little bit more involved uh, but you do learn C++ and C running um, the uh, Adafruit or the Arduino software rather sorry uh, the Arduino software you learn C++ or C language which is uh, really easy to do. Um, how we're going to use this today is we're going to use this in conjunction with a USB hub so I'm going to plug the Trinket microcontroller itself into a USB three-way so a three-way USB hub is going to have the Trinket and a normal USB stick and the reason for that is because I only want it to um, utilize one USB port off the computer so with one USB port just one plug um, BAM the computer recognizes both the trinket and the storage device and the reason for that is because the trinkets going to go on and take data and save it onto that USB so I can just walk by and hit multiple computers if I wanted to but with one plug BAM 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 um, with that here is the Arduino software and we'll get into this code here in a second but let's go ahead and show you here that if I open this you can see that I have a USB device plugged in called service um, we're going to delete the last time we ran this and we're going to go ahead and run it and all this is going to do is pull wireless passwords off of uh, Windows machine so let's go ahead and run it and watch it run um, now you just heard the computer recognize that the USB has been plugged in uh, now it's going to go through the 10 second bootloader and then it's going to run that our code that we just did for it so boom it opens up a run bypass user account controls shrink it the window and send it off the screen so now it's doing all of its magic off the screen but what it's really doing is taking and finding the wireless password to this interface and it's going to save it onto our storage device bam what you just saw pop up here and now that sign and that message says that the usb has been disconnected the attack is completely done and then i unplug and i walk away and then I walk away with my USB hub, which is my trinket, and my normal USB stick, which now has this on it. And so if we look at it, we have all of our wireless data from this uh, computer and interface that it is tied into. So we have the SSID name of my Spectrum Wi-Fi, and the password to this Wi-Fi is this tablet duty here so now that we've seen that in action 
let's get into how to do this here. So once you buy your trinket, then you're going to need to download the Arduino software, which is this. We just, just type in Arduino in Google and you could download it. And then what you're first going to get is going to be something like this, right? This is what you get when you open it up. Now, what you need to do is you need to input your board. So that our new Arduino software, the 1.8 to 1.0, doesn't come with the older versions of um, the trinket stuff. It has the pro in it. So what I had to do is I had to Google the board and go into preferences here and it says additional boards managers. So um, you add this web link, this HTTPS Adafruit GitHub Arduino board index, um, the Adafruit index into here and you press OK. Right, that's in the file preferences right right here and then you go into tools boards boards manager and you type in trinket like that and then you see the Adafruit AVR boards and I have it installed but this right here with the normal Adafruits wouldn't be here usually it's just this right here what I'm pointing at the Adafruit Pro so the newer version only has Adafruit Pro. You have to manually add the Trinket, the older version, um, on your own, like I just showed you. And then you also have to add some libraries. So when I want to do include library and come down here to Trinket Keyboard, and once you see these pop up, um, the only way to do that is to go online and get the GitHub for the Trinket um, uh, keyboard not the Trinket Pro right because this software here has the Trinket Pro download it and then inside of my Arduino folder I have libraries and I stick it in here and then I can close it and then from here go to um, include libraries and it's there without that if you go up here and try to look for um, sorry libraries um, manage libraries and you type in trinket keyboard all that's in here is the pro trinket USB keyboard so we had to download that and install it where I showed you here in documents Arduino libraries right so that is the original one that's why I have that there and that gives you this So now that our board setup is there, we can close this. And then here's the code that I've written. I'm going to put this code on my GitHub, which is the gray lag X2, um, which is if you search <laughs> GitHub, uh, search gray lag X2, oop, gray lag X2. Oh, not capitals. Sorry about that. Gray lag X2. And then down here on users tab on the left hand side, you'll see me. That's me. Um, I'll have this code up and um, I'll answer any questions that you guys have on it. But um, you'll see that this is all well commented out so you can see exactly what each one is doing. But one thing I will tell you is that um you have to run codes key codes for enter so this is enter so nothing and then the enter key and then you also have to tell it to release so this is going to be holding this key for i've set it to um five milliseconds it's going to hold that key until you tell it to release the key so that's something interesting and you can find that stuff here inside of the documents Arduino library trinket keyboard and then under the H file here you'll see that it has all the key codes here so um, left control left alt right 
has all the key 